Again, with new developments tonight, a toddler shot in West Price Hill yesterday. We find out was shot by a three year old sibling. And now children of the man charged in connection to that shooting are now in temporary foster care tonight together in one house, which experts say is a good thing. Nine on your side, Tom McKee has how young that victim, how that young victim is doing and what is ahead for this entire family, Tom. Well, as you can imagine, it's going to take a while for this family to sort things out, get everything back together. The 17 month that was shot, stable condition on a ventilator tonight at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Meanwhile, her five siblings are in temporary care of Children's Services here in Hamilton County as the legal system tries to sort everything out. Kathleen Miller said nothing in Hamilton County Juvenile Court Wednesday during a hearing to determine the status of her children with Cortez Reed. Reed is jailed on multiple charges stemming from the wounding of his 17-month-old daughter at this home on Fair Road. Miller told police that was done by another child. He stated the three-year-old must have found a gun and shot the one-year-old in the stomach. Magistrate Paul DeMott ordered four children of Reed and Miller plus another child with a different father to be temporarily put in foster care with children's services and they'll all be kept together. It's frequently in the best interest of, to keep the children together because they that adds some stability to the circumstance. Tom Malott is the guardian ad litem assigned to protect the children's interests. The difficulty in any of these cases is ensuring that the children are taken care of and the children's needs are met. Um, obviously, the factual circumstances behind the cases are always traumatic and always difficult. Lighthouse Youth Services oversees 185 foster families for Hamilton County. Licensing Supervisor Robin Baston applauded the court for keeping the children with one another. Not only does it help them to feel safe and secure in their foster home, but it helps them mentally to be able to feel safe because they have their sibling with them. Um, they're able to cope better when they go to a new school. Uh, it helps with their eating habits. Baston says with more and more crimes impacting children, they've changed their way of doing things. We have families that are coming in out of the goodness of their heart to be foster families. And so we are putting into place now more trauma-based, uh, trauma-focused training for families to be able to help these children as they cope. Now, very, very difficult decisions being made uh, in cases like this. The next hearing in this particular case on the Reed and Miller children, March 23rd, Hamilton County Juvenile Court. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Coryville. Uh